Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about stocks, specifically finding the value of dividend per share. Before we proceed on the discussion about stocks, let us differentiate stocks and bonds. Stocks is a form of equity financing or raising money by allowing investors to be part owners of the company while bonds is a form of debt financing or raising money by borrowing from investors. Stock prices vary every day. These prices are reported in various media such as newspaper, TV, internet, and among others. While in bonds, the investors are guaranteed interest payments and a return of their money at the maturity date. Moreover, Investing in stock involves some uncertainty. Investors can earn if the stock prices increase, but they can lose money if the stock prices decrease or worse if the company goes bankrupt. Unlike in bonds, uncertainty comes from the ability of the bond issuer to pay the bondholders. Bonds issued by the government pose less risk than those companies because the government has guaranteed funding like taxes from which it can pay its loans. Stocks has higher risk but with possibility of higher returns. Bonds, on the other hand, has lower risk but lower yield. Finally, stocks can be appropriate if the investment is for the long term like 10 years or more. This can allow investors to wait for stock prices to increase if ever they go low. While bonds can be appropriate for retirees because of the guaranteed fixed income or for those who need the money soon because they cannot afford to take a chance at the stock market. After we differentiate stocks and bonds, let us now focus ourselves on the concept of stocks. Stocks means share in ownership of a company. Dividend is share in the company's profit. Dividend per share is the ratio of the dividend to the number of share. Stock market is a place where stocks can be bought or sold. The stock market in the Philippines is governed by the Philippine Stock Exchange or also known as the PSE. Market value is the current price of a stock at which it can be sold. Stock yield ratio is the ratio of the annual dividend per share and the market value per share, also called current stock yield. And finally, par value is the per share amount as stated on the company certificate. Unlike market value, it is determined by the company and remains stable over time. Now, let us have an example of a problem that involves stocks. A certain institution declared a 30 million pesos dividend for the common stocks. If there are a total of 70,000 shares of common stock, how much is the dividend per share? According to the problem, we have the following given. The total dividend is amounting to 30 million pesos and the total number of shares is 700,000. What we need to find is the dividend per share. To find the dividend per share, we need to divide the total dividend by the total shares. So that would be 30 million divided by 700,000 and it will be equal to 42.86 Therefore, the dividend per share is 42.86 pesos. Let us try another one. A certain corporation declared a 3% dividend on a stock with value of 500 pesos. Mrs. Lingan owns 200 share of stock with a par value of 500 pesos. How much is the dividend she received? Based on the problem, the given are as follows. The dividend percentage is equal to 3%. 
the par value is equal to 500 pesos. And the number of Mrs. Lingan shares is 200 shares. What we need to find is the dividend that Mrs. Lingan received. To find the value of the dividend, we need to multiply the dividend percentage times the par value times the number of shares. So therefore, it will be equal to 0 0.03 times 500 times 200. And it will be equal to 3,000. Thus, the dividend that Mrs. Lingan received is equal to 3,000 pesos. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about bonds, specifically finding the amount of coupon. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next video.